hello guys and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you guys how how to edit your car and how to engine swap any car you want in car mechanic simulator 2018 first of all you have to do you have to own this game in steam so you can do it I don't know if there's a digital license outside of steam that you can choose the editor of the game but I'm doing it on the on the current version of the game which is 1.2.0 2.0 yes so first of all first what, what you have to do is push on play and choose the ga launch game editor this is the normal game if you want to play and drive and fix and bolt and, rest and restore and whatever this is the editor where you can do whatever you want in the game first of all choose it press on play and Right, the game is loading. The game is loading now. As you can see, this is the editor of the game. As you can see, there is, this is a car, which is the Bolt Atla Atlanta. All right. How how do you edit this game? You you navigate using the WSDA, you know the regular, and you have to press the right mouse button and navigate with the WSDA. Okay. First of all. You have to press the explode of car, explode car, so you can see the parts and the engine or whatever. This car is good. The, this is the dual carbureted uh, version, which is good. No need to replace or engine swap or anything. Let's choose something else. Here, if you press on this this uh, this button here, you can choose. You can see all the cars in the game. This is the Challenger. As you can see, this is the Challenger. All right. All right. Okay. Since since now I'm since I opened the challenger, I'm gonna show you how to replace parts on the car. If you want to replace the the parts, or this is the engine. From here, you can choose whatever engine: dummy, R4, inline four, turbo, R6, V8 supercharged, regular supercharged, and uh, this is rotary old and the new one, V6. Uh, V8, Hemi, 409, Magnum, and all of, all, of, all of these yummy engines. So let's go to parts, which I want to do something. Uh, okay, before, in previous video, I did install a AC condenser. This is a cool idea that you, that you should have an AC system in the car, but the game doesn't support it yet. Because I did a video of, of restoring my Dodge Challenger RT in the game, Everything was new on it except the AC condenser. Why? Because the game, uh, the game shopping website or the shopping tablet or the computer, you you can you can just you, there there is no AC, new AC condenser. You you cannot buy a new one. So you have to use the crappy rusted one that came with the car, which made the the car price get, gets lower and the parts condition gets lower. So w what should I do? I'm gonna remove it. See, it's it's removed now. Then I can slide the radiator to the front and job done. Okay, let's get back to engine swapping. Okay, I have to press on the save here so I can save the car without the AC condenser. Okay, let's get back to the main topic here. All right, so which car do you think we should replace the engine of it? This is the Smith 1500 which has the inline six yes it's a good engine okay the same problem also here the AC condenser I have to remove it good and slide this baby forward awesome yes you can you can um, you can move the battery you can you can move uh, the brake servo you can move uh, basically ev every part in this game okay let's do an engine swap here I mean the, the inline six is good but no, this car should have a V8. I mean, yes. I know it maybe has a Jimmy 6 or a GMC 6, maybe, as they call it. But no, I prefer the... I prefer V8. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, you can you can keep it, you can restore it, but it's underpowered, it's, it's boring to drive. It, this thing will make the car very slow. I, I will not go crazy and put on a supercharged monster like, for example, this one. So, uh, where is it? Yes, this one. The stereo supercharged. You see this little mon monster here. 
Oh my god, can I can I close the hood? Wow, I can close it. Wow, so this is all right then. I think I'm going to use it. This is the first time I ever bolted in this this supercharged uh, old school V8. So okay, I'm going to use it. From uh, here you can choose choose the scale. If you can make the engine bigger, smaller, whatever. Okay, let's make 1.1. 1 .1. Can I can I can I still keep can I keep the hood down? Yes, perfect. Okay, now let's hide the body, so we can uh, so we can mount everything, the exhaust system, the drive shaft, and everything. So basically, this is a rear-wheel drive car, which is good. Let's let's move the engine to the correct position of the body body and okay. Let, let first let me disable the drive shaft so I can go home free. All right, show the body now. Let let's lower the engine so I can make the transmission go go in the transmission tunnel. All right, brake servo go up, engine go down and go deep. I think I'm gonna make the engine bigger. 1.2, you think? Oh, two, no, three, no, four. Five. Can I can I close the hood? I don't I don't think so. Oh, I can close it. 1.05, which is a big ass V8, and it's perfectly fit. See, perfectly fit. All right, brake servo, go to the right. All right. Look at that baby. But no, I think 1.5 is too much big too big for this car 1.04 which it's, it will be perfect because I don't want the headers uh, to hit the body which will be crappy all right now we have the uh, all right the transmission is no yes now this is the correct position I think you think this is the correct position all right I think it is let me check it out yeah I think so anything is hitting from the back nothing is hitting supercharger oh yes now now we are good now we're good the fan is hitting anything is anything touching because I want to be I want it to be perfect perfect fit awesome now the next thing we have to do is remove the crappy old exhaust for the inline six, which you can do it from here. You can go to parts, and this is what this is the downpipe. This is the exhaust. This is the what? I cannot just let, give me a minute. I'm gonna open the EVGA precision and disable this the OCD OSD. Yes, now we're good. Fuel tank. Fuel tank is correctly positioned. The battery is correctly positioned. Now, yes, as you can see here, we have the headers perfectly lined in, in the bottom of the car. So we don't need a downpipe. Just bolt on the exhaust directly to them and good to go. I think so, yes. Why do I need a downpipe? They are already down. So, parts add a new part from here from the golden plus sign of uh, on, the, on the top put let's choose this is an old school car so i'm gonna use an old school yes old school exhaust challenger no let's see the e where is it where is that then press press on the, this one the megascope this is a short exhaust system, right? Yes, it's very short. So I'm gonna use not the E. Let's see the DC. Where is it? Where the hell is this? Be? Oh yes, this is a this is a shorty one. You can make the exhaust go go, go down from here, which is awesome. Imagine that. I mean, no, it will not. It will not work in this car because it will hit the tire see 
I mean, yes, I, I can make it smaller if I want to. But no, it will not work correctly. No, no, just forget about it. Let's choose something else. So not the DC, which... D, right. This is a long one. Let's see if we can find a, a longer one. Challenger C. See which... I don't want it to hit the drive shaft. No drive shaft, the differential. Okay, let's see. Um, let's let's measure it well and bolt it to the car. Come on, go for no, no, not like go forward. Let's let's the let's hide the body. Yes, move it to this side, and then move it a little bit forward like this. A little bit more. Is it perfectly lined? No. Come on. I want, I want, oh my god, I want, to, I want it to be perfect. Yes. So basically, yes, this is what I was afraid of, the, the differential. So should we use a shorty one? B. It's short, but no, it's not perfect. Not B. A. Well, this is really short. Just two mufflers and good to go. No, not A. I'm going to use the E. Show the body. Is it perfect? I guess it's perfect. Yes, I like it. It's good in the clear zone. Yes, okay. Let's. Let, I will use the E one. So, what should we do right now? Should we... Uh, Get up, hit the plus sign again, choose the E1 of, again, again, tick this one and just copy the the position of the, the, the of the first exhaust system and yes, you're good to go, you see? Not good to go, actually sometimes it doesn't work, I don't know why. <sighs> so we have to do it manually then. It's okay. Should be easy. Let's let's hide the body first. Is it perfectly lined? That's that's the key of making everything perfect. Yes, a bit to the right. A little bit down, up, come on. Yes, perfect. Now this is a perfect exhaust system. Both of them are connected, both of them are perfectly measured in. So next thing next thing to do is bolt on a drive shaft. You have to go to this bit, drive shaft on, and then you have you see now when you when you tick the drive shaft, it it, it automatically connected to the rear diff. So you, what you have to do is just adjust the the transmission face for it. So as I as I was remember, you you can press the Y and just move the mouse if you want left and right. But I don't know if I messed things up. Yes, I think I messed up the rear one. So let's get back to the perfect position. Yes, this is perfect. So, we have to use the rotation. So we can... Um, mm -hmm. Also the length. 105, do you think? Now this will take time because 105 
six, no, no, five, eight, nine, no, eight, six. I'm gonna try it. Nine, no, eight. One o oh, five, eight, nine, nine. No, five, nine, nine, eight, seven. Let's try it and lower it down. Let's set it like this. Also, the as we can all see that the engine or the transmission is huge. Hmm. So now not two. One point five four three two two nine nine nine. Yes, perfect. Now let's just Measure it well. The length eight now seven seven four four yes. Yes, but the scale is not correct. No three four Five, yes, and the length six, yes, six, I think, and the back is correct. All right, so now we have a drive shaft. Awesome. Let's see the body. Perfectly fit, my friend. This this truck was meant for this monstrosity in front so this is it guys we are ready to go and we have a supercharged V8 in front that you can restore you can drive you can do crazy things in it with it sorry so booster I'm gonna lower it down here yes here should be better batteries over there Close it. Perfectly fit. Perfectly fit, my friend. My friends, yes. Look at the exhaust. Drive shafts is perfectly fitted. Here's the fuel tank. Here's everything. Any any man would see it. Oh, this is an old man old man's truck. But when you hit the gas pedal it will fly so now you have to go to the main you can change the name from here I'm gonna call it Smith 1500 super yes and then you're gonna press the save button and you are good to go alright guys now let's go to the game and search for it and see if we can really drive it and enjoy it from here you can just uh, choose the lifter and show the sky or whatever here you can sit inside you can see the positioning of this yes you also you can change the seat if you want seats steering wheel everything here you can make the car look, look rusty so you can see how the hell the engine will look actually the engine will, will keep on new but the car will get crappy all right tuning this one is still I don't know lock the logic you know the global condition and the panels and everything drive shaft wheels you can here change the wheels you can put different tires on it as a stock one uh, the other here you can change the val the year what what year is this car you can put it your rear wheel drive or all wheel drive or front wheel drive but but you have to change the I mean yeah, yes this is the all all these parts that I was bolting on all, these are just pictures right uh, I, I can re I can just set it here to four wheel drive without putting a front differential but the car will will go as a four wheel drive because this these are these are orders these are just um, commands that I'm that I'm choosing 
there is no there is no matter if you if you if you choose a front differential or not because this is a game this is not real life here you can make the car lighter or heavier uh, the speed angle the rpm factor these are just perfectly matched you don't need to to play with them or anything you can make it hand uh, right hand drive if you want but it it will take really good time to just test to set up everything but you don't need to, to change any of that so everything is good are we missing anything i don't think so everything is perfectly well so okay let's uh, okay let's hit the save Let, let's close the change the color no no i'm gonna keep it what kind of livery this thing can, comes with oh yes you can change to the black look at that it shall be striping or what what the hell are this what the hell is this oh a black ship is driving all right what else look at that 1500 in front mm -hmm. love it love it indeed all right so let's go back to the game and search for this Smith 1500 and drive it all right close the game you have to wait a little bit for the game to save and sync with the say with the save file from from in steam servers just press on the play and wait for the game to finish syncing waiting and waiting and waiting yes now it's now the game is finishing all right all right the game is starting yes yes i know all that all right let's go in my garage and let's go to the auction first or to the barn first All right. So now the game is starting, and yes, this is my garage. Just now, currently, I'm working on this one, the rear-mounted V6 hatchback. It's awesome to drive, but but I want to make it new in another video, of course, not now because now we are searching for a supercharged monster. Let's go to the auction now and see if we can find it and buy it. Do you see any 1500s here in the list? No, there is no 1500, so we have to quit. Do you think we can find it in the in the dealership? But I think the dealership is for for new cars only. I don't I don't think that we can find uh, classic cars from 19. Let's go to the junkyard. Maybe I can find it. Then it, then it will be a restoring video of an old, beautiful supercharged monster. Do you reckon I can find it? Welcome to the junkyard. After the updates, of course. This junkyard received many updates. In the previous time. All right, let's see. Are we seeing any pickup trucks? This is a motel cut. Oh my god, look at that! Rear mounted V6, junk. What else? Are we seeing anything new? No. No pickups. Look at that, this is the Sakura GT. It has an inline 6. What a shame to find it in the junkyard. Look at this, this is the Luxure V8. Sorry for that. What else? What kind of jewels we have here? Oh my god, look at that rusty bucket. What kind of crap? Oh my god, look at that! Intake manifold V6B. I can use it for my car. It's, it's, it's brand new. Steering wheel Dodge Charger. There's also a whole steering wheel. I can sell them, make a profit. 
Oh, it's too crap now. No, let, let's stick with the with our. Let's stick with with everything we have. I will go back to the auction again and see if I can find the 1500 super. Car auctions again. Hope we find it. Please let me find it. Oh, come on. No, no 1500. Let's quit and get back again. That's the problem in this game. If you want, if you are searching for a for a specific specific car, you need to search a lot for it. And when you when you don't want to find it, it will be right there in front of you, everywhere. Car auctions again. I mean, yes, I prefer to buy it from the auctions because I don't want. What what is this car? The Royal. Bianco Eco Turbo. Let's see it. So this is the Eco Turbo. Wow, what what a name. Alright, let's search for the fifteen hundred again. I only wish that um, after all this time of searching for it that the game really has this car and, 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 and I'm not just wasting my time searching for it <sighs> again Bolt Repetella are too supercharged wow I want to buy it yes this is the new car from, from the, the update this, this is the supercharged one awesome Should we go to a barn or keep on keep on searching? What what attempt is this? Is this attempt attempt number five? <sighs> no, not yet. Guys, if you're watching this video right now in YouTube, you, you need to skip a little bit because uh, I'm gonna search for it for a long time. I want to find it. I want you guys to see it live. Look at that charger; it's clean. Mahavir, Eco Ecotec, what? Reno, Piccolo, Ecotec. I want to see it first before I get out. So this is the Ecotec. Looks hideous. No 1500? Oh, come on. All the good cars, but no 1500. Don't worry, guys. It's it's there. It's not connected. It, there's, this is not a problem. If you if you edit your if if you edit any car, it it won't create it won't cre create any problem in the game. It's natural. It, the game will not crash or anything. I modded many cars, but yes, here we go. The Smith 1500 Super. Come on, this is the Bolt Repetella. Next, I have to be careful not press next. All right, 
let's start the auction and buy our monster start auction right finally we find we found it and it's in good condition so we can drive it straight forward just change the oil yes come on 30 grand, 31 Right, I have it So yes guys, we are now owning the Smith 1500 supercharged What a super That we just made in the editor Alright, here we go, look at it We have just bought it my friend See, there's no oil. Any missing parts? Yes. An ignition coil. We need to buy an ignition coil. Ignition. Ignition. Where are you? Come on, where is the ignition coil? Yes. 100 bucks. It's okay. Alright. Let's put on some fresh new oil and what the hell? Yes, and start rubbing the tits out of it. Yes, let's go, my friend. Let's go for a drive. Listen to that. Weird. Let's drive it. So guys, this is the first time driving it. Let's enjoy it. The car drift like a monster. It's a it's, it's a power sliding monster. It's it like it. This car was meant to have a supercharged V8. What was GMC thinking when they stuck the Jimmy Six in like six in it? It should has only a, it should this car only should have a V8. I love this car. It's awesome. It's beautiful. It's classic. I'm gonna restore it make it brand new again in another video put some racing tires on it so we can grip more yes the car is functional you can drive it now it has a brand new oil in it we can we can put new battery battery in it put everything new in it and it's simple to fix with ton of power in front and everything so here we go guys this is it so this is how you engine swap a car or you can how you can edit this, this, any car you want in this game using the game editor thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button and give me more car car and engine requests for automation game thank you guys for watching I, i'll see you in another video have a great night or great day bye bye